The Lives of the Saints, by the Reverend Alvin Butler, taken from the fourth edition, published in 1954. August 11th, St. Tiburtius and St. Chromatius. Agrestius Chromatius was vicar to the prefect of Rome and had condemned several martyrs in the reign of Carinus and in the first years of Diocletian. St. Tranquilinus, being brought before him, assured him that having been afflicted with a gout, he had recovered a perfect state of health by being baptized. Chromatius was troubled with the same distemper, and, being convinced by this miracle of the truth of the gospel, sent for Polycarp, the priest who had baptized Tranquilinus, and, receiving the sacrament of baptism, was freed from that corporeal infirmity, by which miracle God was pleased to give him a sensible emblem of the spiritual health which that holy labor conferred on his soul. From that time he harbored many Christians in his house to shelter them from the persecution, and assigned and resigned his dignity, in which he was succeeded by one Fabian. Chromatius' son, Tiburtius, was ordained subdeacon, and was soon after betrayed to the persecutors, condemned by Fabian to many torments, and at length beheaded on the Lavican Road, three miles from Rome, where a church was afterwards built. He is mentioned in several ancient martyrologies with his father, Chromatius, who, retiring into the country, lived there concealed in the fervent practice of all Christian virtues.